What is up guys, JPR Tech here and this is the Puerto Rican living in Japan talking about photography, videography and all the tech we use in our lives and we, in this channel as you know we try to make the best use of the tech we have in our lives for cheap or better yet free. Now today I'm going to be going a little bit off road because we're not going to be talking about something free and definitely not so cheap. That is an investment that I decided to take a plunge in and since upgrading from my M1 Mac Mini to you see up there the 2021 14 inch MacBook Pro definitely I thought I should protect as much as I can this heavy investment that I decided to go with an expensive or a name brand skin to really protect the surface of the MacBook. So this video is not sponsored at all by Easy Scans. This is all personal purchase for my personal use. And like I said, I really wanna protect and keep my MacBook looking brand new and as pristine as I can. And at the same time, I wanna add a little bit of style. Yeah, so Easy Skin didn't send this. It's all just my personal opinion. So I'm gonna be talking about my whole experience from the purchasing all the way to the finish of the installation which spoiler alert guys if this video teaches you anything it's just to read the instructions just read the instructions before doing anything tech related in your life it will make things so much easier but hopefully with my mistakes and this video will help you encourage you to do things the right way if you ever decide upon buying a skin for your device. With that said, I googled MacBook Pro skin and one of the top searches was Easy Skin. And comparing to other sites, they were the cheapest one as well as they also had pretty cool features that most of the skin brands that I searched didn't have. That is that it came with many different parts such as it's not only the top and the bottom of the MacBook, also, there are skins included for the trackpad as well as the top grill and the bottom surface area where you have your rest palm area that all is included in one bundle. So that's why I decided to go ahead and just go with that brand. I was expecting the shipping to be a little faster than it was because, you know, at 50 some dollars it was, I think, when it was all said and done with the shipping and the price of the skin itself, which was about $40. I thought it was going to be coming a little bit faster because due to the fact that it was uh, priority shipping overall i waited almost an entire month for this thing to come and when it finally arrived it was on an envelope and yes even though it did have a cardboard inside to keep it from bending and they had signs everywhere to don't bend there's always the risk of that getting bent so i was expecting a little bit better packaging but once opening it up i noticed that everything was fine the skin was increased there was nothing wrong with it so it's all all good inside they have a cleaning cloth an instruction card as well as a huge folder that has in bold letters link to the instruction video which i should have seen from the beginning the final result is that it all worked out fine everything went in place and yeah it's all done and what are my thoughts of the actual product now the skin i was really pleased with the quality of it it's a really rigid tough hard skin and once applied i was able to remove it one more time to readjust it and it glue back in my notebook just fine and yeah I, have, I haven't had any peelings or any crease or bubbles whatsoever i went with a black matte design and it really looks so good and especially the inside skin with the black keyboard of the macbook pro it looks fantastic so i'm loving it just an awesome experience just if you guys are purchasing this outside of the us i don't know whatever country you guys live in what the shipping policy is and the time is but for japan it was pretty slow but other than that 
it's a great product and i recommend it just for the quality the installation video they have everything is really awesome another observation i had is after using the trackpad for a little bit right away i could feel you just it kind of bothers me a little bit that the material is a little bit too rough so just sliding your finger constantly across the trackpad can be a little irritating so i'll probably end up removing it i'm just leaving it there because it just it, it does look really nice i'm just yeah i wish it was a little bit smoother to for your fingers to slide on but you know that just comes with the material that's the material i order so you know we can't change that and guys about the way the skin matches and lines up with the macbook is just awesome especially the apple logo area there i can't see any of the macbook's surface slipping through or any cracks whatsoever it's all pure black that cutout just matches lines up perfectly and all the edges are pretty even as well the little silver that you see it's all pretty even so it looks really nice they did a great job cutting this thing up but with that said it is unfortunate that the skin is only covering the top and the bottom surface so i will say that the only con about using the skin to protect your laptop is that you can't cover the edges the side surface as well as the front there is a, a little flap that flaps over on the back but that's not gonna provide any protection. Basically, you're just covering the top and the bottom from scratches. What do you guys think? Are you guys one of those that like to just skin everything you have, whether it's a camera, a tablet, smartphone? Do you guys use things like that to cover up and protect your laptop? Let me know in the comment section down below and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video really taught you guys something and that is that read the instruction manuals. Just do it. Just take three minutes to watch the installation video and then do it yourself. But I'm just glad it's all over. Everything worked out good, safe to go. The MacBook is looking pretty, pretty nice. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And here's me saying bye and see you guys later on the next one. Peace.